Constantly we have been seeing the tremendous visa backlogs and processing delays for immigrant and non-immigrant visas. In this bulletin, we will discuss few good news and updates released related to your immigration reform. This is as a sudden feature of your questions to see how best you can help your judicial process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Now let's get into the video and find out what's new in U.S. immigration. Number one, immigration fights flare up as midterms yield uneven results. Supporters of overhauling U.S. immigration laws are descending on Capitol Hill next week. Hoping to make a deal in the wake of midterm elections that left Republicans with less of a power boost than they expected. The 11th hour pressure campaign focuses on protecting immigrant dreamers from deportation, with the existing Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program on thin ice in federal court. Top negotiators have acknowledged they'll likely have to make concessions on border security or asylum processing to bring enough Republicans on board before the end of the lame duck session. Fraught politics, a compressed timeline for negotiations, and uncertain election results add to the hurdles to updating immigration laws. The absence of a red wave of GOP victories in Congress, however, gives some advocates renewed hope Republicans will come to the table, said Grisa Martinez Roses, executive director of the advocacy group United We Dream. Hundreds of DACA recipients and immigration activists will meet in Washington, D.C., next week to press their cause with executive branch officials and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Advocates are also pushing to get immigrant farm worker status, a citizenship pathway for Afghan evacuees, and easier legal immigration pathways into must-pass legislation by the end of the year. Number 2 A compromise on immigration is possible. This bill could make it happen. A wave of people seeking better lives has overwhelmed America's immigration infrastructure. In response, the United States has allowed hundreds of thousands of migrants seeking asylum to live and work in the country without any evaluation of the merits of their claims, while summarily expelling hundreds of thousands of others, also without regard to the merits of their claims. A promise to shelter those in need has thus devolved into a Kafkaesque sham. Immigration is a vitalizing force in the nation's cultural and economic life, but the United States cannot admit all those who wish to come. The choice of who is allowed to enter must be intentional, not the result of a government that lacks the capacity to enforce its own laws. The shambles of the asylum process is undermining public support for immigration. And that, in turn, jeopardizes the ability of those with legitimate need to obtain refuge. America's commitment to offer asylum to people fleeing violence and persecution in their homelands is an essential expression of the nation's ideals. But the system is broken. The United States needs to invest the resources necessary to live up to its ideals by building a system that treats asylum seekers with dignity, provides for a fair and efficient adjudication of their claims and ensures that those who do not obtain permission to stay in the country do not remain. Number 3 Wisconsin Cheese Industry Wants Immigration Reform The Wisconsin Cheese Makers Association WCMA, is calling for reform of U.S. immigration laws, with expanded opportunities for immigrant agricultural workers. The WCMA issued a statement November 9 asking for greater flexibility in workers who come to the U.S. on temporary agricultural worker visas, including an eventual path to permanent residency for some. The U.S. dairy industry employs 3 million people in America today, and a trained, reliable, and sizable workforce remains essential to its strength, WCMA Executive Director John Umhofer said in a statement. Dairy manufacturers and processors look to legislative leaders to work together to deliver immigration reforms to support business growth. Number 4 Farm and Restaurant Interest Groups Push Immigration Reform as Labor Supply Solution Two different interest groups advocated on Thursday for the United States Senate to pass the Farm Workforce Modernization Act, which would make a number of different changes to the country's immigration policy. Both pushed the legislation as a potential boost to the state's labor supply since state data shows the number of people trying to collect unemployment benefits is smaller than the number of job openings. John Maxwell, who owns Cinnamon Ridge Dairy Farm in Scott County, said he is consistently looking for employees because he has trouble keeping employees. He said the reason is most can't get the immigration paperwork needed to work legally and has to consistently train new workers. The Farm Workforce Modernization Act, according to the Congressional Research Service, would create a new visa program called a Certified Agricultural Worker Program. 
It would allow agricultural workers, who either worked 1,035 hours during two years before March 2021, to work in the United States for five and a half years. The bill also would also require the United States Department of Homeland Security to make a number of changes to the H-2A visa program including creating an electronic platform and other requirements. Democrats along with 30 Republicans passed the legislation through the House of Representatives. However, the bill hasn't received a vote in the Senate yet. Jessica Dunker, who is the President and CEO for the Iowa Restaurant Association, said the immigration issue would also help restaurants hire more employees. She said the bill would also help increase the labor supply across all other industries. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!